Hi, I'm Alex Harrison. I'm a brand ambassador for Dodson Horrell and today I'm going to be showing you some pole exercises on my three-year-old. Uh, show name is Kickback but we affectionately call him Sasha in the stables and we'll see how we get on. So today I'm going to do a, a pattern for horses um, that are either a bit hot to trot or I'd rather not. So it's a really good uh, pattern to help with impulsion for the horse because the idea is you start in the box um, and then that's the box is the main focal point of the pattern. That's where you kind of rest and pat your horse and that's where you make any corrections you need to. And what you do is you head out straight up the school and you either decide if you're on left rein or right rein. So say we're going right rein, we would turn right and then when we get to maybe, if you imagine north, east, south, west, as we get to the east marker, we would turn across the school, come straight through the box, and then turn right again, and so on and so on. So each time you get to a quadrant marker, you go straight through the box to the other side of the school, then turn right or left, depending on which rain you're on. first attempt you can see we had a few wobbles it was quite um, difficult sometimes to turn him enough to make make it round the pattern um, so what we're going to do next time is we're going to make the poles a bit wider and it is a bit experimental especially with young horses because as they as they lose their balance or um, tr try to drift out a little bit they'll take uneven strides so um, I think the best thing to do is actually just give them a bit more space so it's less pressure um, so hopefully next time round he'll have a bit more room, he'll have a more regular rhythm, he'll be in a bit of a straighter line and hopefully more or less the, t the turn should be a little bit smoother but again he is three so I'm not expecting miracles, just small improvements each day will get you on the right path.
as you can see, that time was a bit better because the first time we had a few wobbles. Um, and I think it's really important to remember that it is a bit of a trial and error process with the young horse because as they come into poles, they may wobble a little bit, they may take an uneven stride. So if you are finding that, the best thing to do is to just uh, make the poles a bit wider, give them more space, take the pressure off a little bit. And also what I did, because we're aiming for the horse to go around to a nice rhythm, be really confident and relaxed, uh, is I actually, instead of starting up the school, I started out at the side because then he didn't have to go straight away into trot over poles. It gave him time to find his feet, find his, uh, find his rhythm, and then the whole pattern became a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more flowing. And I, I felt that time myself that he was actually easier to make the turns as well because he was a bit more connected to the pattern. And again, it's really important that you start and stop in the box so they get to the box, they know that's their, their safe place, and that's where they can think and process what you've just done. Um, so I think we left that on a pretty good note. He was a lot more relaxed, a lot more controllable and on my aids. So now to cool down, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let him go on a bit of a looser rein, maybe walk over some of the poles so he goes over them in a really de-stressed way, really nice and calm. And then just let him mooch around, have a look at, a little look at the surroundings. You might go for a bit of a hack and then he can go in his stable and eat some nice dogs and horrible feet.